Hey girls, so I am making my Hey girls, I'm making my uh second video for today. I was thinking about making about three or four or something like that, but it's just too much work with this camera. So yeah, if you didn't watch my last video, then this camera is um my mom's camera. It is a Nikon D3200, and yeah, I'm planning on using it a lot more, but like I said, it's kind of complicated. But this video is going to be about my um hair routine. Uh, yeah, people like keep asking me to do this like since I made my video, and they want to know how to, like keep it shiny and stuff like that. And I I hate my hair. I mean. What person on this earth really doesn't hate their hair sometimes? But, um, yeah. This is, I'm not, like, a quick disclaimer. I'm just going to say that this is not the only way that you can, um, do your hair, like, to keep it shiny or anything. Because there's, like, millions of videos on here on YouTube that, like, um, tell you, like, all kinds of different ways. And people with my hair type, like, um, you know, nobody's hair is exactly alike. So... But this, so yeah, this is why. This is this is just how I do it. And I guess there's people out there with my hair type that want to know how they can um, tame their hair and stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to try to just, I've never really done, like, I've never really even watched one of these videos before because I never really saw the point in it. Because, like, most of the videos I've seen up, they're nothing like, they don't have my hair type. So, I never really saw the um, reason to watch it. But... I mean, I guess this is interesting to, like, other people whether they had the same hair type as the person or not. So, uh, I'm just going to get started, you guys, and, um, yeah. Okay, so, I'm just going to start with what I do in the shower. And if I really start talking fast, it's because this camera does not have that much memory, so, yeah, I have to kind of go fast. Okay, this is the shampoo that I use. This, this shampoo and conditioner is the, um, Honey, I'm Strong by Herbal Essences. Um, when I was younger, I used to use herbal essences a lot, but that was kind of just because I had to, because, you know, I didn't buy my shampoo and stuff then, but, um, you know, I've always liked it, but when I got older, you know, I was trying a bunch of different stuff, but I just heard this stuff was really good, and the reason why I got the Honey I'm Strong is because, um, a couple weeks ago, I decided I was going to wash my hair with, like, a hair, uh, with, with honey and eggs and stuff, because I wanted my hair to grow, and somebody kind of told me to do that, so I did and I noticed that, like, a lot of my hair wasn't falling out the next couple of days or anything like that. And so, um, I just, I just started using it. And, um, you know, I stopped. You're supposed to do it, like, every week, but it's just so messy and sticky and it's just not fun to deal with, honestly. But, I mean, I really liked the results from it. And when I straightened my hair, you know, my hair looked shiny and everything. It was a great result. So, I do recommend doing that if you don't mind, like, the mess or anything. But, because this has honey in it, it's supposed to be good for your hair and very moisturizing and stuff. So, I just, like, um, I thought, why not try it out? So, yeah, I, that's what I'm, I'm doing. And, um, the, the conditioner isn't as moisturizing as I thought it would be. And, I'm not really sure why they call it Honey I'm Strong. Because, there's really nothing in it that makes your hair strong, um, stronger. But, I do notice that my hair doesn't fall out as much, which is really weird to me. Because... I just, it's really weird to me. Um, I don't even know if that makes sense. But, I mean, it's it's great shampoo. It makes my hair really shiny and it, it just smells good overall. So, yeah, that's the shampoo I use. And what I do is I, you know, I shampoo my hair and I actually use a pretty large amount of shampoo. Um, I don't even know how to explain the amount. And then, like, I wash my hair with that. And then what I do is I squeeze my hair out. I squeeze the water out of my hair. And, um, then I put conditioner in my hair, and I use, like, a, a, actually a pretty large amount of it, too. But not, like, too much that'll make my hair look oily or something when I get out of the shower. <sighs> yeah. And so, um, after that, like, I let it sit for about five minutes or so, and then I'll rinse my hair out. Um, if I don't, um, use another shampoo, because that, that conditioner isn't as moisturizing as a lot of shampoos, which is probably why it's not really that good to use, um, like, as your everyday shampoo, if you don't use another conditioner with it. Um, yeah, I use Dove. And what I do is, like, I'll put um, this conditioner on. And before, like, rinsing it out, like, um, like I'll do, like, five minutes of this sitting on it. And then I'll put this on and I'll do about, like, um, two minutes or something like that and leave this on it, like, over top of that one. And then I'll wash my hair out. Um, this morning, I didn't use the Dove. I don't know why. I just didn't. But I do wash my hair with cold water, 
um i i do like bear with it in the shower like i wash my hair with cold water and yeah it that's what makes your hair really shiny so if you want shiny hair then the like main key is um definitely use cold water um let's see I don't wash my hair like every day like sometimes I do but sometimes I don't it just depends because my hair where it's thinner because I got it cut before school um I got like short layers cut, short layers cut into it it does get oily faster so sometimes I do um straight like I do wash it every day especially like if I've like I've straightened it because my hair is supposed to be naturally curly but as you can see it's wavy right now and I don't know why my hair is naturally curly it's supposed to come out like extremely curly but I don't know what happened today so this is my natural hair like I didn't straighten it or anything this is my natural hair so yeah if I'm like if I don't straighten like if I don't wash my hair or whatever um okay I'll just tell you guys basically what I do I wash my hair and then I'll straighten it like the next morning like the next morning and um then I'll straighten it that morning if I'm gonna straighten it and then sometimes I'll like come like I won't wash it that night and I'll just straighten it over in the morning and like sometimes I don't do that sometimes I'll just wash it like that night straighten it that morning and then wash it again that night and then sometimes I'll just um like wash it and then straighten it and that that, that morning then I'll um instead of washing it that night I'll wash it the next morning and I'll like scrunch my hair yeah so that's kind of how it goes down for me i try not like i'm not even gonna say i try not to straighten my hair that much i like always straighten my hair but i mean i haven't today and yeah i'm like really into these beanies lately and um i just kind of threw this one on but i do straighten my hair basically every day and i you i do use heat protectant but i kind of ran out so the past like week i haven't been using heat protectant and i need to go get some more and the heat protectant i usually use is the tresemme or the um i can't remember what brand it is uh, oh, the, the suave, um, the suave kind where you choose, like, if you have curly hair, you get the one for curly hair and it's, like, the gray and pink bottle. Um, or I use that. And that was the last one I used. Um, I ran out of both of those. So, yeah. But, like, okay. I'll just tell you guys what I do after I wash my hair. Okay, after I wash my hair, sometimes I'll, like, put this on while my hair is wet. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, after I wash my hair, I'll dry it off with like one of these towels. This is a hand towel, but like every towel we have is this material, so yeah. I'll dry it off with that. And then what I do is I take the towel and I scrunch my hair like this with it. Like this. Like I'll flip my head over and I'll scrunch it like that. Like you're not supposed to like do this because it breaks your hair off and that's really bad. And it makes your hair look really, really fuzzy and dry. So you're not supposed to do that. Um, my mom taught me that when I was little and I was doing it wrong. So that's how I like dry my hair and stuff. And then what I do is I'll take a wide tooth comb. And this is like the wide tooth side and this is the thin tooth side. And then like I brush my hair out like starting from the bottom like that. And um, <laughs> yeah I'll brush my hair out like that and I'll go upwards. And then when it's all like smoothed out and stuff I'll take this side and I'll do it like that. And then what I do is I like shake my head like I whip my hair back and forth Willow Smith style you know. And then um, I'll put this stuff on it. And this is the um, Garnier Free Tea Sleek and Shine Intensely Smooth Leave-In Conditioning Cream. And um, it's amazing stuff. It smells like freaking gummy bears. Oh, God. Delicious. Yeah. So I use that stuff. And I use about like a dime size of that. Um, maybe a little more than a dime size or something like that. Um, not like as big as a penny, but like a little, little bit less than the size of a penny. And... Um, yeah, so I'll use that, and then what I do is I put this stuff on, and this is supposed to volumize your hair, and because I have, like, really thin hair now and stuff, um, the top of my head is, like, like, the top of my hair is extremely thick, but the bottom half of my hair isn't, and this is supposed to also help with the ends of your hair, so I put it on the ends of my hair the most, and then I go up to, like, the top of my head, and, um, I only use about, like, a dime size of that, literally a dime size of that. Then, lately, um... I've been using this macadamia natural oil and it's a healing oil treatment and you put it on while your hair is like damp and my mom got this from JCPenney's they were giving it out for free so it's just a little tiny thing but I'm thinking about finding out like um where it is I, I think they obviously probably have it at JCPenney's but I don't know how much it is and I'm gonna figure it out because I really want some more but I only use about a dime size of that and I put it on my hair while it's damp and that's like almost you know almost dry and it makes your hair really shiny so yeah as you can see 
Okay, and then another thing that I've been doing to kind of like take care of my hair and stuff is um, I've been taking these Nature's Made um, Biotin Pills and they are uh, like for your hair, skin, and nails. And I did notice that um, my nails, they were getting like a uh, really, I don't, what's the word? They were getting really strong. They were getting really strong. And that's what made me notice that they were kind of working. But I, I don't take them, like, religiously like I'm supposed to. Like, you're supposed to take one every day. And I did start taking two every day. Then I forgot to take them. And, you know, I was setting alarms and everything to do it. And I was like, I am not getting off this bed. Yeah, but I did notice that. Okay, because, like, for a while I was taking the um, fish oil pills. And they really did help a lot. They made my hair really shiny. And, um... It almost got to the point where my hair kind of like got oily or looked oily. Well, it kind of, it really did feel oily. And, um, I took those to I out and they were really good. I don't know really what it does to like make your hair grow or something and stuff, but, you know, it helps, it helps your hair to be really shiny, especially if you take these with them. Um, I want to get some of those folic acid pills or whatever, but I don't really feel like spending money on pills, honestly. I mean... I, I don't know. I feel like if my hair is going to grow, then it's just going to grow. I'm, I've kind of got to that point. <laughs> okay, so, you guys, if I don't, like, straighten my hair or whatever, I, you know, I wash my hair the same way I do. I put all that stuff that I just showed you guys in my hair, except for this. And what I do is, I, um, you guys probably seen my How I Tame My Curly Hair video. Well, this is, like, um, like I showed you guys what I do. And it's kind of changed now. Well, not really changed, but, you know, I, I do it basically all the same. But, you know, I've added, like, different products and stuff like this and this to it and stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, what I do is I'll take this mousse. This is the Suave Captivating Curls Whipped Cream Mousse. And I was using the Got To Be Mousse, and I ran out of that. But I kind of think this is better because it makes your hair more, um, like, makes your hair more soft than it does than the got to be does because i find that that stuff is really sticky but hold on i have got to be gel and this is the spiking glue and it's you know it's really supposed to be for guys who spike their hair or whatever but i went to my aunt's house and her friend had like this stuff and i took a shower there and i was like um i don't want to straighten my hair and my hair is crazy whenever it's not like tamed or whatever and um yeah so that's why I started using this stuff and I liked it but I wasn't using like this stuff with it I only had used this but I think with uh, mousse or whatever it kind of defines your curl a little bit more um if you use too much of this it makes your hair really um really sticky and stuff but I've noticed but like I've, I looked up stuff on google and it says that like if you use these kind of products on your hair it makes your hair um it's, it's got like all these chemicals and stuff in it that can also be bad for your hair. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't, like, if you guys know anything that's kind of like natural or something like that, that you guys can tell me about, um, that's not like too expensive, but you know, it's, it's, it's in there, it's good, and it works. Um, that doesn't have like harsh chemicals in it, please let me know because, um, I really am trying to like take better care of my hair, but... I don't really know what to do, but I do notice that when I do use this stuff, lo and behold, the next day, like, if I scratch my hair that day and the next day, like, when I wash it that night, or I wash it the next day or something like that, my hair, like, it looks really shiny like this, and that's kind of what, well, I really can't explain it, but, um, it looks really shiny, so, I don't feel like it looks like it's damaging my hair after I use it, but it could be, and I just can't tell, you know, so, yeah, you guys, that is how I kind of just, that's, that's my hair care routine, I guess. That's my hair routine, you know. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any more requests, then let me know, and you know, I'll be happy to do them. So, bye, you guys.